Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Today, we're going to talk about pistons. Not sure which piston I'm pick for your 390. Let me take some of the confusion out of it. It's not as complicated as you think, but it is complicated. Come on, let's go. I just came in, been outside working, and I wanted to help you out with Ford 390 piston selection. If you hear me scream or start fussing, I'm fussing with these dogs because they've been laying here sleeping until I started filming, and now all of a sudden they want to be elephants in the living room. Anyway, the Ford 390, that was one of the biggest workhorses that Ford ever had. You know, they went and everything from their trucks to police cars to Mach 1 Mustangs I mean it, you know there's been many inceptions of it and they built it all the way till I think it was I think 77 is when it got replaced in the trucks by the 400 because that was the 400 was the engine that replaced the 390 and in the cars in like 71 but the truck continued to use 390 I know through 76 but the 390 and 76 was not the 390 that come in a 68 Mustang or a 69 Mach 1. It wasn't the same. Let me show you why. And let me show you where people screw up when building a 390. Alright. I took this piston out of my 360. You can see that is a flat top. And now here's the thing. A lot of people don't realize this. A lot of 360's used the 390 four barrel flat top piston. All right, let me start this over here because the dogs decide to start wrestling and knock the camera over. Anyway, if you don't believe me on the Ford 390 four barrel piston being used on a 360, what does that say right there? 394V. Now, not all 360s got them. Some did, some didn't. Mine did. Now, you can use you can still buy these and put them in a 390, but with the 72 to 75 cc chamber of the medium rise style head from 68 on through 76, it's going to make about 10 and a half to 1 compression. You're you're not going to run it on pump gas hardly. You could, but it you'd have to run premium all the time and it's still going to spark knock. You'd have to back the timing up to where it wouldn't spark knock, so it, it just wouldn't be a good motor. Now, this is your Ford truck piston. You can see it has a slight dish to it. And you can still buy these. Matter of fact, when most people get one rebuilt, this is what they use. The problem with these is the compression height of this piston is shorter than the older model 390 pistons by several thousands. So it ends up way down in the cylinder at top dead center. So these, they're only going to make like seven and a half, maybe eight to one at the most. I mean, that's great if you want to burn kerosene or something in your 390, but it's not good for making power. This is this is one of Ford's early attempts at uh, emissions and, and stuff, and that's why, but they're horrible. This is what you want. This is Ford's 390 two barrel piston. Um, I know they made, they use these through 68, I do know. And if you use the steel shim head gasket, the compression with the 72 to 75 cc chamber is about nine and a half to one. Okay, that's still too much for just regular pump gas. But if you use a composite head gasket, like I'm going to, the compression is about 8.8, .8, maybe 9 to 1 at the most, but it should be around 8.8 .8 to 1. That's perfect for regular pump gas. It'll run on pump gas, but still be 
you know, pretty efficient and make good power, which is what we're after. Now, if you don't believe me about the uh, truck piston being way down in the cylinder, okay, I want to line the wrist pin holes up. See how much difference there is? So, this is the one you want, in my opinion. Like I said, if you want to run the flat tops, go ahead. Just good luck finding gas to run it on. These are available from Silverlight under part number 1130. And another thing I want to do is I've already bought the camshaft because I'm actually working on a video currently of putting the 390 together because I'm going to show you how to build a 390 on a super 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 budget now we're not just doing a re I mean it's being bored rods resizing and all that. I mean it's not just a re ring and bearing job no we're not doing that I'm building something that is reliable doing it on a budget making good power and being fuel efficient yeah I got my work cut out for me the camshaft I'm using this is another tip I bought a mailing SYB23. Okay, that is a 390 two barrel camshaft. Now, some people say, well, why didn't you use the four barrel camshaft? Well, let me tell you. The four barrel is the SYB22. The four barrel is rated, it's the duration is 273, 273 advertised. It's 200 at 50 thousandths. It's a straight, straight stick as they call it. More or less Chevrolet grind. And you know me. No Chevrolet parts in my Fords. No, ain't happening. The SYB23 is a split duration camshaft. It's advertised 273 on the intake and 281 on the exhaust. At 50 thousandths, it's 192 on the intake and 199 on the exhaust. And I think the SYB 22 is like 428 lift, and the SYB 23 is 431 on the lift. Now, the reason I want the SYB 23 is because it is split duration. Fords always favor longer exhaust duration because they generally have poor breathing exhaust than other manufacturers do. You know, 460s, you know, I'm all about 460s. And if I don't like this 390, I'm going to put a 460 in it, okay? I mean, that's just the way it is. But I won't give the 390 a shot because I've never built a 390, and a lot of people swear by them say they're really good motors. But most all Fords, I don't care if it's small block, big block, whatever, they favor a split duration camshaft. So that's what we're going with. Plus, with 192 on that 50 thousandths on the intake, it's going to make it a little more fuel efficient. So... I hope some of this has helped you all. Um, I hope it cleared up the confusion. So basically, if you're building a 390, stay away from the 68 to 76 truck piston. That's the one that puts the piston way down in the hole. I don't care what you're going to do, it's going to spark knock. If you try to get good power out of it. Because it, it just it doesn't have good quench. Stay tuned for the video of me building a 390 and putting it in. And if any of you want to volunteer to come help me put that friggin' intake manifold on, I'll appreciate it. Because they weigh a ton. Be sure to like, subscribe. And stay tuned. Me and the pups will be back with more. Won't we? Come here. Oh. That ain't what I wanted. Ah, quit. Ah. I appreciate you. I'll see you.